Hey guys, what's up? It's Exibo HD here again. Um, this is going to be a new tutorial for you guys on how to use the scribble effect in After Effects. This was requested by Adam HD. He asked, How do I put that epic text effect where it says clap? It would be awesome if you could link me or tell me how to do it yourself. So, like I said, guys, I'm going to be taking tutorial requests. So, what he's asking is this effect right here the scribble effect and so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that real quick it's not very complicated at all so I got a clip in here I just added a little bit of Twixter to slow it down so I'd have some more time and so I got a speech bubble I downloaded from Google just go to Google images search for speech bubble and just save one to your desktop or wherever it's really easy so there's your speech bubble, looks pretty plain and boring. So what you're going to want to do is get this pen tool right here. And all we're going to do is make a simple mask around the entire speech bubble. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be scribbled out anyways. So you're just going to come down here. There you go. And then what you want to go... What you're going to want to do is right click on it, come down here to effect, go to generate, and then go to scribble. So there you see it, it's scribbled out like that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to cut the clip right here at the end by pressing command shift D. If you're on a PC it will be com uh, control shift D, sorry about that. And so there's your nice little scribble effect. If you want to add a transition to that, all you're going to have to do is come over here and let's put it as, say, linear wipe. So, transition linear wipe. I'm just going to drag it on top of our speech bubble. Um, you don't need to mess with any of these settings right here. Just come down to effects, linear wipe, and transition complete. You're going to put that as zero. I don't know why, but it's kind of opposite on here. Then just fast forward a little bit and then put it at 100. And there you go. Fades in. Oh, hold on. It's backwards. My bad. Sorry about that. So you, let me just switch these keyframes real quick. So it's going to fade in like that. Looks pretty sweet. It's great for cinematics, montage effects, anything like that. And I forgot to tell you guys this before on the scribble effect, you can come down here and change your color, stroke width, any of that stuff. I usually leave it how it is. And if you cannot see it, if the scribble effect isn't there, you're going to want to come down to composite and go to on original image. I don't need to do that since mine is already there. And then, let's see, if you want to add some text, just come up here, click on the text. And let's just make it say, hey. So let's bring that in the middle of the scribble. And let's change the font a little bit. Let's see, we need a random font. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. I don't know what, some monsters maybe. Let's delete the exclamation point, and that'll look pretty cool. So there you go, you got your monsters. And then what you're going to want to do, um, I'm going to split that again right here. Command Shift D, delete that part, and then if you want to have it come in like like a typewriter, this is usually how, what effect I use on here. I'm gonna want to go to Animate in Typewriter, drag it on top of there, come down to Text Animator One, and then let's make a new keyframe, and then you're just gonna want to Fast forward just a little bit, come up here where the two arrows meet, and you can drag it like that. Drag it to the right. Oops, I don't think that made a keyframe. Let's fix that. Just go back and click keyframe right there. And you're just going to want to come back up here, drag it up another monster, and make a keyframe. And then we're going to come up one more. Keep going, make another keyframe. So there you go, let's see how that looks. 
just gonna fade in, the scribble effect's gonna fade in like that, and then the typewriter effect is gonna bring the text in. That looks pretty sweet, and if you guys have any more tutorial suggestions or anything like that, just let me know, and I'll do my best to get those out to you guys to help you on your editing. Um, I'm not a professional, but I know a bunch of stuff about After Effects. It's the main program I use, and my Mac has been really awesome. And so expect some new montages and all kinds of sweet stuff, tutorials, speed arts, um, all kinds of stuff in the future. Just comment your suggestions below. Thanks for watching. Exibo HD. See you later, guys.